And they were terrified. They're coming at us with aggression. We were out with food, looking for dogs that needed help. We got to this farm, and we can hear them before we see them. There was no water. There was no shelter. They were chained to this like massive log. You can see that that collar has been digging into them and they live their entire lives like that. They just really wanted the food. You can tell after all the noise, they kind of just backed down. They're not sure, but they're like, oh, okay. When I lifted them, they were so light. You could just feel there's absolutely nothing to them. The next thing is just get them to a vet. Oh, that's food. Look at that. Batty had a broken leg, possibly from a fight over food. He calmed down as soon as his leg was fixed. As they got stronger, they kind of saw each other as a competition. So we're like, let's move them into separate bosses and see how they do like this. When I went to go pick up Otis, he was just looking at me like, why are you giving me so much love? He'll come into my bed and spoon with me. He's got a lot more confident. Benji. I was still only thinking about fostering. I fell in love with him. I was just walking at a local food market and I just looked down and this other dog coming towards us was going completely crazy and then Ray was like, is this an Otis? And I was like, yeah, is this his, is his brother, Benji? When we were trying to walk away from each other, they didn't want to leave each other. So we were like, should we exchange numbers? It was a no-brainer, I think, to make sure that they see each other from time to time. I saw a message from Ray. Hey, like, do you want to get together? And I was like, yes! And we were so excited. Can't wait for these guys to see each other again. can say goodbye and they know Amen. they will see each other again.